goodies welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is emma i am so happy you clicked on my what's for dinner video i hope you like it we'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already let's jump right on into our first dinner okay for this semi-homemade chili i just put my ninja foodie on sear saute and put a pound of ground beef in there with some onion and started cooking it up to the ground beef and onion mixture i am going to add one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and two 15 ounce cans of mixed chili beans some italian seasoning some garlic powder a packet of ranch and a packet of chili seasoning Once all the beans and the seasonings were all in, I just gave it one final stir, put the lid on it, and cooked it on low for six hours. We are going to have our chili on baked potatoes, so I just cut up two pieces of tinfoil, washed my potatoes, put the potatoes on the tinfoil, rubbed some extra virgin olive oil on the potatoes, I just put my oven to preheat at 375. Next, I'm just gonna rub some garlic salt onto the potatoes and wrap them up in the tinfoil. I guess I didn't um, cut enough tinfoil for the first potato, but the second potato had too much tinfoil, so I just ripped a little piece off of that to stick over the um, potato that is showing right here. Voila, good enough. Then I put the potatoes on my cookie sheet, and like I said, my oven is set at 375. I'm gonna cook them up for about an hour and then stick a fork in there, see if they're soft. If not, I'll throw them back in for another 10 minutes. It just depends on the size of your potatoes. But usually an hour's pretty good. And guess who was here playing? <coughs> and the chili is done, the potatoes are done. because I'm a little bit extra, I decided to cut open the potatoes and stuff it with some chili and some cheddar cheese and a little pat of butter, and then put it under my broiler on low for five minutes until the cheese had melted up. It was delicious. Anyway, I forgot to get a picture of our plates because our grandson was here and we were busy playing, but we topped it with some sour cream and just ate it like that. Our grandson thought it was delicious too. For tonight's dinner, if you remember, I had purchased a humongous pork shoulder that I had my husband cut into three meals. One of them was the shredded pork pitas. Now with this one, I'm going to make carnitas in my crock pot. I'm not sure how big this piece of meat is, but for this recipe, you're gonna need the pork shoulder, some salt, some pepper, some ground cumin, some chili powder, this is paprika that my friend gave me because I didn't have any. Some garlic pepper, some garlic powder, some bay leaves, some oregano leaves, and a cup of orange juice. 
I started by putting the meat into my Ninja Foodi. I put my Ninja Foodi on sear saute on high, and I am just going to cook up each side of the meat for about three minutes on each side. Then once all the sides had been seared, I just started adding all the seasonings. As you can tell, I did not measure any of these ingredients out. I just sprinkled it to coat the meat, and that was it. My husband is my cameraman here. He keeps zooming in and out of the meat. He did an awesome job. Thanks, honey. Once I had added all the ingredients, I turned my Ninja Foodi to the slow cooker feature and cooked the meat on low for six and a half hours. And with our tuckles, I'm just gonna make up some rice. So I just coated the bottom of my pan with some olive oil. I added about a half a purple onion that I had previously diced up. Then I added about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Then I added a cup of white rice. I stirred it up and then I added about a teaspoon of tomato paste and then stirred that up and then just let it fry up for a few minutes. Once the rice had browned up, I added a third of a cup of chicken broth. Then I added a half a cup of water and stirred that up. Next, I added one big teaspoon of this tomato bouillon and then stirred it up. And then I took a taste to see if it had enough of a tomato flavor and it didn't. So I ended up adding another teaspoon of the tomato bouillon and then I stirred that in and then I just brought it to a boil. Once it had come to a boil, I turned my temperature down, put the lid on and just let it simmer for about 20 minutes. While the rice was cooking, I put some onion into a bowl, cut up some cilantro and put that in with the onion. Then I squeezed some lime juice over the onion and cilantro mixture and just let that sit. We're going to use this for the top of our tacos. Once the meat was done, I thought it was going to shred, but it didn't. But I just ended up chopping it into pieces. Anyway, now time to make it a little bit crispy. So I just sprayed some um, Pam olive oil over the top of it. Then I put my Ninja Foodi to broil at 450 for 10 minutes. Look how delicious that looks. Once the 10 minutes were up, I just squeezed some lime juice over the top of it and stirred it up. I didn't record it, but I added a can of diced um, Rotel tomatoes. I thought I hit record on my camera, but I didn't. That was the rice done. And then I had some leftover black beans in my refrigerator that I needed to use. So I figured I'd use them as well. So I just cooked them up. Then we heated up some tortillas. Now for the tacos, I just added some guacamole to the tortilla. Then the meat, my husband thought he was funny here, just adding one piece at a time. Then I added some of that onion cilantro lime mixture on top. A little salsa. And then to the beans, I'm just going to add some mozzarella cheese. 
and here it is all served up. This was absolutely delicious. For tonight's dinner, I really didn't feel like cooking, but I didn't want to get fast food. I had this frozen, just plain stuffed crust cheese pizza in my freezer. So I decided just to create my own little pizza. I set my oven at 375, cut up a ham steak, added some pineapple tidbits and some onion and just baked it up. This turned out pretty good. I'm not a huge pizza lover, but I do like a good ham and pineapple pizza. This was delicious and simple. For tonight's dinner, we are making a version of the Chipotle steak rice bowl. So I'm just gonna start by cooking up one cup of rice. I actually sprayed inside with some cooking spray in my um, in my rice cooker. So I've sprayed that. Now I'm going to add my cup of rice with some garlic powder and two cups of water. I'm just going to let that cook. And then I'm going to add, when it's cooked up and the water looks like it's almost drained, I'm going to add some cilantro and a lime, one lime or the juice of one lime in there, stir it up, let it finish cooking. Then I'm gonna cook up some steaks. Um, I'm just gonna saute my steaks with some Lowry's um, seasoning salt. And they're super thin, so I'm just gonna cook them two minutes each side. Then I'm going to cook up some black beans and then I'm going to cook up some of these Southwest corn. And it's got the poblano and red peppers already in it. So I'm going to cook that up as well. And then I'll assemble them and I'll show you assemble, assemble them. And then I'll show you what it looks like. See, here's the steaks. They're super thin. So I'm just going to cook them up on each side for about... A minute, two minutes. These ones are a little thicker, so maybe these two minutes, but these ones a minute. I started by melting butter in my pan and then seasoning one side of the steak and then putting that side of the steak down so I could season the other side. I ended up cooking the thick steaks for four minutes and the thin steaks for three minutes each side. When the rice was almost done, I added some chopped cilantro and the juice of one lime. I stirred that up and then I put the lid on and let it finish cooking. Then I flipped the steaks over. Once the thin ones were done, I just took them out, put them on a plate and let them rest while the thicker steaks continued cooking. I added some tahini to my corn to make it kind of taste like street corn. 
Now everything is cooked up, I'm just going to put my rice bowls together. I started by adding the rice, then I just did the black beans, the corn, the guacamole, the sour cream, the salsa, and the steak around the edges of my bowls. Then I did lettuce and cheese on top. We ended up mixing everything together, but I thought it would look nicer to show you guys separated than it mixed up. I served it with a warm tortilla on the side. Delicious. And that concludes this week's What's for Dinner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. We'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fabulous week and I will see you Friday for my Soup of the Week video. Bye!